Yeah, look at that. Joe Cobb, you're done, son. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Suck on that. <laughs> hey, fellow beer lovers. Help support my channel. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share my content with your friends. Also, don't forget to click that little notification bell so you know exactly when I post a new video. Cheers, raise your glass, and enjoy the video. Follow New Vegas was selected by you guys, uh, my Facebook group. Um, I put a little poll out there. When I hit 50 subs, I was like, all right, so I have a big enough uh, audience to kind of do a little bit of you know, polling and have you guys pick a game, which I hope to do a lot more of that going forward as the channel grows. I think that'd be really fun. I have 900 games in the backlog to play, so there's lots to choose from. But uh, Fallout New Vegas was the most requested game. A single-player RPG is, is you know, uh, a really cool genre that I'm sure a lot of you love, but I will try to make it entertaining for you guys on the stream. And I have some help with that, as always. The beer. Can't forget the beer. And I have some pretty fun ones picked out for this stream. Uh, New Vegas was kind of actually a difficult topic to get pairings for. Uh, just because what I have in my cellar, not a lot of gambling-related ones and nothing that's really Vegas-specific. And I, I hate to say it, there's not very many good breweries from Nevada at all. Like, Vegas especially. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like breweries feel like in that city, there's all there's too much other shit going on. You can't really beer wouldn't be a focus for anyone anybody visiting there. But I mean, you have a couple of good breweries uh, like out of Reno. You have uh, Revision, and then I think uh, well, Joseph James was out of I forget where uh, somewhere outside of Vegas, but they just shut down you know during COVID, so that sucks. They were making good beer. Uh, but yeah, I mean, anybody who sees this later on YouTube, uh, the replay, if you happen to know, or anybody on the chat now, you guys, if you guys know if uh, if you've heard of any good craft breweries out of Vegas, uh, let me know because I, I I don't know any, and I was we were hoping to go there this year, and I was going to do a little bit of scouting, but of course with COVID, our trip was canceled, so not happening. But anyway, long story short, uh, the first beer. Is from E9 in Tacoma. Now, I got a request about the beer um, to do a little more commentary and a little more explanation on the beers. So uh, this is, I don't know how well you guys can see that. This is the fifth nail. The fifth nail, and it's a sour. And it uh, was made for the fifth anniversary of a beer bar in Seattle called Pine Box. And this beer was released, I think, two or three years ago, maybe three years ago. Uh, but this is a American Sour from E9 out of Tacoma. Uh, and this uh, should be a pretty cool beer. Yeah, so I picked this beer, uh, Fifth Nail, for 50 subs. So simple as that. Um, there's no info about what kind of fruits are added or anything, or if it's just straight up uh, Brett or, or what. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to pop this guy and I'm always nervous opening a sour on, on my, uh, in my office down here. Cause if it foams over, uh, if it's a gusher, I don't really have much to do to control that. I just try to pour it as quickly, quickly as I can. So whoops, I gotta get the cage off here and we'll see if we can, uh, hopefully it doesn't explode on me. Although that'd be funny for you guys to see, huh? Enough talking out of me, get some beer flowing. And I'll, uh, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll kind of guide you guys through uh, what it tastes like because that's another complaint. Not a complaint. I should say a suggestion I got was to talk about a little bit more about the tasting notes. And, you know, I'm not trying to be a beer review channel. That's not the focus of this. But maybe give you guys a little bit more insight as to what it's drinking like uh, and how it tastes and everything. So let's get her open. Now, I'm nervous. <laughs> I didn't shake it or anything, but sours are unpredictable. Okay, so good carb, but it's not it's not a gusher, it didn't blow up on me, so that's a that's a good thing. So I got my trusty Teku here. Let's get a pour going. Yeah. 
Yeah, look at that. Kind of a golden color. Which, if I had to guess, this will be a Brett Sour. Which, if you're not familiar with Brett, well, when you hear Brett when it comes to sour beer, that's Brett Amanises, which is the name of the bacteria that's used to make it sour. And uh, this is... Uh, it smells kind of uh, sweet. Let's get a taste going here. Hmm. Okay, so it's actually really nice. It's not very tart. So a lot of these sours, you know, the the most common flavor profile is like either tartness or uh, kind of like a dry sweetness. This one's a little more dry. And it has a little bit of funk on the back end. And when I say funk, that's like your farmhouse ale kind of like musty funk flavor. I don't know how else to describe it, but that's what this has going on. So E9 out of Tacoma. Fifth nail. Sour. I I mean, it, it's uh, it's got to be two, at least two years old, probably three years. And... Uh, so there you go. Fifth nail sour. Cheers, guys. Let's get to the game now. Uh, so here we go with Fallout New Vegas. Now, um, some of you guys are very familiar with this game. Uh, I have never played it before. Now, I played lots of Fallout games in the past. I played uh, everything Fallout 1 and 2, and I played the Fallout Tactics games. And I played Fallout 3 and 4, and I somehow just missed New Vegas. I don't know how. Um, and it's supposedly the best of the bunch, maybe not better than fallout two, but like certainly better than three and four. And everybody, I keep hearing it's all about the writing and the story and, and then the setting it's all better than fallout three and fallout four. So not hard to believe. Uh, and normally a game like this, I would have modded the hell out of this, but I just installed it today. And, uh, I tried to get, I tried my best to get through the tutorial stuff. And so we're picking up. Uh, basically on the first real mission in the game, um, I have to go, let's see, uh, I have to go f resolve some kind of gunfight, uh, for a guy named Ringo, um, and maybe, uh, the powder Grangers will be, uh, interesting to fight, but this is new Vegas, no mods. This is the vanilla game. As uh, in all its glory, and it, it's actually uh, I think for a ten-year-old game, I think it's ten or or maybe even eleven years at this point. I think it looks pretty good, honestly. Um, interesting. So where do I find this guy? Oh, he's over here at the gas station. Cool. All right, so we're off in the game now. Um, oh, I should mention actually before we get going, check this out. So when you start the game, you get uh, you get perks, right? And one of the perks I took was uh, the Wild Wasteland. And I'm not sure what this does, but I think it's like there's just going to be random shit that shows up in the Wasteland. I don't know. It's like it just sounded really funny. Cheers, by the way. I hope you guys are drinking if you do, if you are. Uh, hit me up in the chat. Let me know what you are drinking. Okay, Chuck, you're out of alcohol. Man, that is... I know California's on fire, but, man, you got to you gotta get that sorted out, man. <laughs> yeah. Brave the wildfires. Get yourself loaded up. Just get a stockpile going. You can't be out, man. Yeah, that wildfire shit's crazy. I saw, uh, you know, our friend Paul posted photos, and it's just, like, ridiculous around the Bay Area right now. Insane. I tend to be <laughs> kind of a loot hound in these kind of games. Um, Fallout 4 was particularly bad because you needed all the uh, crafting ingredients and stuff. But after a while, I just got really sick. Really sick of uh, being over-encumbered all the time. So this, this playthrough, I'm going to try not to, you know, take a whole bunch of uh, stuff that I don't need. I have to get used to controls, by the way. Um, I've been playing a lot of other games lately, and it's like you have to undo the muscle memory. Cheers, everybody. Ah. 
Okay. Um, so I have to, get, again, kind of relearn Fallout's inventory and map system. I haven't played a Fallout game for about... I think it's been about a year or so, maybe even longer. Probably longer than I played uh, Fallout 4. Uh, which I modded the hell out of that. Um, and I know there's lots of mods for this too, but like I said, I didn't really have time to figure it out. So this is just straight up vanilla Fallout New Vegas. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. I, I'll but say I this also that... Reach it easily. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice... I would the voice acting is pretty decent so far for for some of the main characters at least. Not in good springs, no. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old. If you want to take a shot at it. If well, you're really in invested in the story, thing, go pick up Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> I think it's been like really cheap. I mean, it's an old game, so. Around here. I I'm just you know because I don't want to bore you guys. I'm just gonna s kind of skip through all the dialogue and stuff. So hang on, she gave me a book, and if you guys haven't played a Fallout game, that means it's like a skill boost. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I have to try to convince everybody to fight. Kind of the old classic, like, everybody stands, stands up for the town under attack. The old backwater town. Howdy. Too dangerous. Going to kill all yourselves if I let. Oh, uh, I don't have. I don't have the. Uh, yeah. I don't have the explosives uh, expertise to get him to give it over. Bad. All right. Yep. We'll come back to this. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? It's a big risk. Cheers. But I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Damn. So let's see. I was short on explosives. And sneak. And speech. Let's get up to the 25. Uh, same with... Uh, explosives. And let's go with sneak. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, oh. All right, so I got a new perk, I guess. Uh, this is cool. So I'm going to take the Swift Learner one because uh, I have a trait that gives me a penalty. So that just negated that penalty that I had before. Howdy. Let's try this again now that I boosted our uh, Told. explosives ability. Uh -huh. There we go. Guess you know Damn. what you're doing. Cheers. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. Oh, yeah. Yep. Easy Pete, my man. Alright, let's try her. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Cause I think my, yeah, so now my sneak and my speech are high enough I can do one of these two options. Um I'll do why not? I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason I can't help but like you. I'm with you. There we go. Let me have a word with well, everyone does own a. All right, so we got her recruited. This is cool. Be careful. Uh, let's go for. I think we have what two more people to find. Three more. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. Cheers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Oh man. Right. Okay. Um. So yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna have to try to recruit this guy. Twice. If I need barter to get leveled up. Um. I'm a I wonder if I have uh any sort of items I can wear that would help with that. So let me take a look at that actually. Take it easy. Now. Oh, I had a speech boost right there with that uh, suit. I didn't even realize. So speech plus two. Let's do this. You looking to buy some supplies? Uh, I don't think he's gonna... Yeah, 22 out of 25. All right. Right. Take it easy. <clears throat> Let's go see, um, what I can do about that. That looks like a trap or something. Huh. 
weird. Maybe uh, later. That'll be a problem or something, something for us to deal with. Damn it, yeah, those are just temporary boosts, kind of. Welcome back. I had hoped you. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Come Folks on, Doc. Just, you can oh, do I'm it. I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg and my supplies. Chappy Hayes, what's up? Thanks for dropping in, dude. I am drinking the E9 Fifth Nail. Uh, but thanks for uh, checking in. Uh, come back later and uh, let me know what you're drinking. Cheers. I'm just trying to burn through these uh, dialogue options to get uh, any map locations or new things to worry about. Okay, so I guess we don't convince him to fight? I don't know. What happened there? All right. That was quick. Will I don't I don't have enough barter to convince that shopkeep guy. Let's see what happens when we fail the the roll, the skill check. He's probably just gonna say no. Gotta go dumpster diving always. This again? Like I Look, you're bringing <laughs> this on yourselves. There's no way I'm getting involved. Okay, so take it easy. Do I actually need anything from this guy, or is it just like a bonus objective? All right. Well, screw that guy. If he's gonna be a coward like that. We don't need him. Got to tell our boy Ringo here. We're ready to rock. Shoot some bandits. Cheers, I'm almost done with this beer already. There's a little bit left. A lot of sediment now. Get a little bit of extra protein in there. All right, bro. So what's going on? We got the army together. To help? Well, I guess that means we're ready. All right, I'm ready. Time to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. <laughs> what are you, a ghost? At least six, Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Oh, Easy Pete came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. All right, let's roll. So, I don't know if it was uh, one of the uh, DLCs or something, but I started with... Uh, let's actually get some armor on. And we'll have uh, a better weapon here. Grenade rifle. So yeah, I started with some other weapons like this. Uh, caravan shotgun. Uh, okay, so that's slot four. Yeah. Which I think were from DLC packs. That I don't know why they do that. They kind of add um, weapons to your inventory. Um, I remember Fallout 3 did that. And it's kind of bullshit because it makes the game a lot easier. But in the interest of time, I'm just going to go ahead and use uh, one of the bonus items I got. So they're already on their way over. Um, let me see if I can uh, use this dynamite here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. Um. Come on. Joe Cobb, you're done, son. <laughs> uh oh. Wait, why'd I get vilified? Reputation, okay, yeah. What? Oh, the Powder Gangers. Okay, gotcha. Because I blasted Joe Cobb. <laughs> oh. Out of uh, existence there. Did 
Gonna have to sell some crap here, of course. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. <laughs> I did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan money, but I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. I owe you more than that, though, so look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp up in New Vegas if you all ever right. visit. Thanks hey. again for all your help. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to play Caravan right now. I've never stopped. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's roll. Cheers, everybody. Tell you what, so I'll head down south here to um, the Canaan Wreckage in Prim here. And that'll be what we do. I'm going to need another beer in just a minute. Ah, cheers. But I will uh, try to get to our next location first. Uh, if, if for any of you guys that have played this game before, uh, let me know if there's something really cool that I haven't that I'm missing. Because uh, I'm just kind of going by the numbers here. Um, oh yeah, I need to, I need to check my weapons to see if. Oh, let me put some armor on too, actually. Because, you know, might be a uh, death claw waiting for me out there. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so we've got our sturdy caravan shotgun versus... Oh, yeah, it does more damage. Way more damage. All right. Stick with what we got. And I got a pistol, too. And a machete. All right, cool. All right, so uh, I, I think this is really cool. Like, I like the uh, environment quite a bit. The Mojave Desert is a cool setting. Um, I don't think, uh, I guess Fallout 2. I may, no, my character's cool. Um, Fallout 2 was, was set in a desert, uh, but I think they did a really good job with this setting. It's it's already like more I think it's better designed than uh vanilla Fallout 3 just by the way things are kind of scattered and stuff. And you know all these uh oh there's a plane over there. That's kind of cool. You know these Bethesda games there's always like lots of, you know, dungeons and 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 things to explore. Oh shit. Yikes. Powder gangers, man. Switch back to my shotgun here. Nope. There you go. New California Republic currency. I wonder if that's going to matter at all. Alright, let's see. This plane was, was just a little cool little landmark. There's nothing to uh, loot from it or anything. It did. It did trick me to go down and uh, fight those guys. So let's see what's going on with this little shack here. Yeah, if you guys, uh, okay, we'll do. We'll do that later. Um, if you guys know of any good mods for the game, also let me know. Uh, I will probably, after the stream, of course, uh, I will go back and actually put some mods into play. But uh, for now, just vanilla. <clears throat> Am I even going the right way here? <laughs> Damn it. Okay, yeah. Oh, shit. All right. Tell you what, got lots of dynamite here, so suck on that. <laughs> I 
Oh, a camp. Alright, well, um... It's good there's not more of them. For it being a camp and all. Wait a second. Yeah, so it keeps saying I take a sip from the canteen. I don't know what that is. Like, is there... I'm not playing on a hardcore mode where there's actually, like, thirst and hunger and stuff. I'm not above stealing ammo. Especially not... I don't care about the powder gang dudes. Um... I'm already, like, basically negative reputation with them anyway. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Get back on track here. I'm kind of hoping we see something weird with my little wild wasteland perk. Uh, this seems to be pretty funny. There's some critter up there. Gecko, I think. Not a problem. Yeah. Not really worried about them. Yeah, so, uh, do you guys use vats in these games, or, or do you just, uh, oh. <laughs> Gotta deal with those guys real quick. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. I know with the transition to, uh, to 3D, the vats is a little contentious, you know? Like, people were like, why the hell is vats even in this game? But sometimes it's kind of useful, I think, like to kind of you get a little bit of a, a break to kind of pause the action. And like I know with certain perks, when you're in uh, vats, you can do a lot of crazy shit like critical hits that will uh, disable weapons or uh, actually break the leg or injure the leg of uh, an assailant. And But I, I only really use it, like I said, to uh, when I need a second to like aim. But it's it's kind of like I don't know. It, it was hard for them to kind of th I think make it work in a way that made sense. So how far away are we here? Yeah, sniper. Yeah, I'm hoping to find a sniper rifle actually. Although I kind of feel like in in most <laughs> most Bethesda games when you when you start finding sniper gear, it starts to get really easy. Uh, cause the sneak, the sneak is like OP as hell. Maybe in this game they did a, a better job, I'm not actually sure. I, I keep saying Bethesda, but I know they didn't make this game. They just have, you know, Fallout as a property. So I should probably give them more credit to, uh, Obsidian, I think, was were the guys that made this. Um, so I should probably give them more credit, cause I know that the reason this game is better is because of them. And nothing that Bethesda did. Wait a second, I gotta see. It's funny, the Xander Root thing feels like something out of Skyrim, you know? Okay, what's going on with the... How do I get up there? Ah, uh, what's this? Okay, so I guess, is he... He's not hostile, I don't think. Let's see what's going on with this. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Some convicts from the prison <laughs> up the road have taken over What are you gonna do? Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. That sounds like laziness. We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. All right. 
So yeah, I guess the big factions in this game are NCR and the uh, Legion. And the Legion sound like, uh... They sound like kind of your slaver, raider kind of faction. Well, okay, so it, in this case, I guess I'd be stealing from the NCR, and I don't know if I want to make, make them my enemy quite yet. Uh, I need another beer, though. I'm losing. I'm losing. Uh, I'm losing sight of the real uh, goal here. Is, is to get. I need some beer. Um, so uh, give me a second, and uh, I just have to run over to the next room, the garage, and grab another beer. So uh, you guys take a l quick little break if you need to go refresh your beverage or uh, or something. Um, I'll be right back. I just have to grab. The next beer. So that was the fifth nail from E9 Sour. And uh, it was pretty tasty and it was gone really quick. So uh, kudos to E9 and I'll be right back. Thank you all for uh, following along and drinking with me. That's the most important thing is that you're drinking with me. As long as you're drinking with me, I'm happy. So cheers. Cheers to you, and then thank you for following, and then uh, we will see you for the next one. Cheers. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>